हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फोर योर ट्रांसफॉर्म इन थ्री डायमेंशन एंड एन एग्जांपल रिलेटेड टू दिस लेट्स अगेन इफ एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ थ्री वेरिएबल्स एक्स वाई जेड as you consider in three dimension situation so we prefer the function as three variables then the fourier transform of that three variable function f of x y z is given as capital f of u v w that is the fourier transform of the function x y z the representation is capital f of u v w that is the fourier transform of the function f of x y z is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 triple integration and the integration limits from minus infinity to plus infinity the function f of x y z into e to the power minus i whole into u x plus v y plus w z d x d y d z it is uh, one of the triple integration that's why we differentiate with respect to three variables for your transform in three dimension similarly the inverse for your transform of that uh, given function f of x y z will be the inverse for your transform of uh, capital f of u v w which one is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 triple integration and the limit of the integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of u v w function of three variables e to the power i plus i whole into u x plus v y plus w z and we integrate with, with respect to d u d v and d w that one is three dimensional for your inverse transform capital f of u v w that is the three dimensional for your transform f of x y z is the three dimensional inverse for your transform let me take an example find the for your transform of e to the power minus a r square where a is a constant and uh, r is given as uh, under root of x square plus y square plus z square calculating the fourier transform of the function having three variables x y z f of x y z function is given as e to the power minus a r square which is equal to e to the power minus a r square squaring that under root term we have minus a whole into x square plus y square plus z square then the fourier transform of that three dimensional fourier transform in three dimension of uh, that uh, three variables x y z function function having three variables then fourier transform of three variable function x y z so the fourier transform will be in the three dimension is given as 
Fourier transform in three dimension f of u v w is equal to 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 triple integration minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity of that function e to the power minus a whole into x a square plus y square plus z square into e to the power as a usual process converting that function into Fourier transform we use u to the power minus i of u x v y plus w z difference integrating it with respect to d x d y d z simplify these terms 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a x square e to the power minus a y square e to the power minus a z square again e to the power minus i u x e to the power minus i v y e to the power minus i w z d x d y d z is equal to 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 now we have to rearrange the terms which terms with respect to dx and which terms with respect to dy and dz so the dx terms minus infinity to plus infinity here are the dx term so we have e to the power minus as common a x a square plus i u x of d x again y terms y terms y terms with respect to d y terms so integration over minus infinity to plus infinity y terms as e to the power minus a y square plus i v y integrating with respect to d y finally the z terms these are the z terms z terms d z integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a z square plus i w z d z refer as equation number 1 now we can uh, evaluate any one of uh, this integral after that we put the result uh, we found out from that integral that result will be same for another two integrals like similar manner now one of the integral this minus integration over plus in minus infinity plus infinity integration over e to the power minus a x square plus i u x d x let me simplify it is equal to integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a as common we have x square plus i u x divided by a 
d x is equal to integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a let we add and subtract a term that is x square plus i u x by a plus i u divided by 2 a whole square minus i u divided by 2 a whole square i add and subtract the term i u divided by 2 a whole square dx is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity the term is a square term as the formula we introduce a plus b whole square a square plus 2 a b plus b square e to the power minus a as x plus i u divided by 2 a whole square into e to the power minus u square divided by 4 a i square as minus 1 dx is equal to integration over minus infinity to plus infinity first uh, we write the constant term to that of outside that one is the constant term is e to the power minus u square divided by 4 a into integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a whole into x plus i u divided by 2 a whole square dx uh, let us uh, substitute uh, let uh, putting p is equal to x plus i u divided by 2 a that term is substituted as uh, p uh, therefore its differentiation d p will be dx this term is constant and its differentiation results 0 similarly the limit changes from minus infinity to plus infinity so that uh, integral e to the power minus u square divided by 4 a integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a p square differentiating sorry integrating with respect to d p that one is a standard integration. So, the standard integral value we have e to the power minus u square divided by 4 a into pi by a under root. as we know the standard integral minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a p square d p is equal to under root of pi by a therefore uh, we have therefore integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a x a square plus uh, i u x integrating with respect to d x result as e to the power minus u square divided by 4 a into pi by a under root. Similarly, another uh, two integrals can be written.
by taking that procedure minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a y square plus i v y dy is equal to e to the power minus v square divided by 4 a under root of pi by a last integral minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a z square plus i w z d w d z is equal to e to the power minus w square divided by 4 a under root of phi by a. These uh, values of uh, that kind of integrals let we put in equation number 1. Therefore, uh, equation 1 becomes the Fourier transform of uh, three variable function f of u v w is equal to 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2. So, the values of these integrals are put here. We have uh, e to the power minus u square by 4 a under root of pi by a into e to the power minus v square by 4 a under root of uh, pi by a into e to the power minus w square by 4 a under root of uh, pi by a which is equal to 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 a to the power 3 by 2 into e to the power minus u square plus v square plus w square divided by 4 a now 1 divided by 2 a to the power 3 by 2 as pi to the power 3 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 cancel out 2 to the power 3 by 2 into a to the power 3 by 2 that is 2 a to the power 3 by 2 into e to the power minus u square plus v square plus w square divided by 4 a which one is the Fourier transformation of three variable function f of x y z. And that three variable function as given as e to the power minus a r square whereas r is equal to under root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, with the help of this uh, video lecture, we understand Fourier transform in three dimension, inverse Fourier transform in three dimension, an example related to Fourier transform in three dimension. We solve that question and we get the Fourier transform in three dimension of that uh, three variable given function. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.